Good morning. Today, I'm sitting on the chancel steps to talk to you. I haven't sat here with you guys in quite a while, but I have something pretty serious to talk about with you. Some days, life seems a little scary or uncertain. On those days, it may feel like there is nothing we can do about it. You might feel this way when you think about the pandemic, or you might feel this way if you've seen the news lately. But we can actively look for ways to help each other through tough times. One thing we can always do is to be kind to each other. We all know that we're supposed to do kind things for other people, but life is scary or uncertain, and it may feel like your kindness doesn't help the situation. If you've ever done something kind and wondered if it really mattered, have you? Have you done a good deed and wondered if you made any difference? Honestly, I have. Then I think back to the times that someone has done something kind for me. I know a smile from a child in the grocery store can make me smile too. Someone unexpectedly holding the door open for me warms my heart. And a quick note from someone just telling me that they are thinking about me, well, it can lift my whole day. God can take the smallest actions and turn them into something really big. When I was thinking about this children's message, I started remembering an event I watched unfold several years ago. My neighbor had just visited a place in Rogers that helped men who were trying to get their lives back together and back on track after being on drugs. Well, the place was really run down and they didn't have any money to really help these men who truly needed help. And my neighbor was telling me all about this place. And my friend who was with me was really moved by his story. My friend checked into this place or looked at it, started volunteering and began telling a lot of her friends about the place's desperate needs. Well, her friends told their friends and things started snowballing. Amazing things just started happening. People started giving money, buildings were upgraded, new buildings were built. The number of men that this organization was able to help increased significantly. Now, I'm pretty sure that my neighbor didn't just tell me and my friend about the needs of this organization. He probably told lots of his friends too. And then they probably told their friends too. God took one tiny little thing, my neighbor sharing about Souls Harbor, and made it grow and grow and grow. In today's scripture passage, Nathaniel thought that Jesus couldn't be important because he came from Nazareth. People thought that Nazareth was this nothing little town and that no important person would ever come from there. Nathaniel at first didn't realize how much good Jesus was going to do through people. So Jesus promised him, you will see greater things than you expect if you follow me. You never know how God will use your one act of kindness. So keep doing them. Even if you never see the result, we might not always know what is coming next, but we do know that God is with us in all of it and wants us to keep following Jesus no matter what. Are you guys ready to pray with me? All right, repeat after me. Dear God, no matter how scary life is, thank you for always being with us. Help us remember that kindness matters and that you can use the smallest actions too. Amen. Bye friends. <laughs>